Ravi was a popular local merchant in his village, he sold good quality mangoes at a fair price. His competitor, Sumit was greedy and sold lower quality mangoes at a higher cost. Hi my friend, would you like to buy some delicious mangoes from me? Absolutely, last time I had your mangoes, they were really tasty. I will take 10 pounds. Wow, I appreciate the feedback. Here you go. Occasionally, Sumit gets interest in his mangoes, but is usually rude to his customers. Hello sir, can you give me two pounds of your mangoes? That will be six dollars. Your mangoes are not that big and have stains on them. Ravi is selling two pounds for four dollars. My mangoes taste better, but if you want go ahead and buy his mangoes instead. The customer is appalled at Sumit's behavior and heads straight to Ravi's stand where he buys cheaper and better quality mangoes. These mangoes are the best quality and has a fair price. The other salesman was overcharging for damaged mangoes. Sumit got really irritated with Ravi for lowering the market price and upping the quality expectations for the mangoes. I will teach him a lesson. I'll just steal his mangoes so I would not even have to buy them. This way, I could also sell them at a fair price and still make a decent profit. Sumit steals mangoes from Ravi and starts getting more business. Ravi was suspicious when he saw his mangoes supply dropping. He suspected Sumit but was not as physically strong as him. He feared Sumit. Sumit steals my mangoes and is taking my customers away from me. He never used to get sales until he got his hands on my mangoes. I cannot go to the police since I have no evidence. Ravi was wandering outside, trying to figure what to do about his dilemma. His thoughts were interrupted by the sound of a bottle rattling. When he came closer, he saw a witch staring at him from inside the bottle. Ravi was terrified and slowly backed away. Kind sir, please help me from my imprisonment. I am a good witch and I will help you with any troubles that you are dealing with. Ravi slowly lifts and opens the bottle. The witch comes out in the form of smoke and is delighted. Thank you very much Ravi, now I am free and I will assist you in any troubles that you are facing. I am just a humble salesman who earns to eat daily. You do not owe me anything. I have released you, now please go anywhere you would like. I sense that something is wrong. I will give you a moment to ponder my offer and if you are sure nothing is bothering you, I will head on my way. In my village, I sell mangoes. My competitor Sumit is stealing my mangoes and putting me out of business. I will deal with Sumit and return all of your produce. The witch kept her promise in returning the mangoes back to Ravi. Sumit started to notice his supply going down and began watching his product. What a hideous green demon this is. So this has been stealing all of my mangoes. Oh Shiva, save me. She will surely eat me. Your mangoes are so delicious, but now that you are here, I bet you taste better. Come with me Sumit. These are not my mangoes. I stole them from Ravi. I apologize. Please have pity on me demon. Sumit runs away and never steals Ravi's mangoes again. Ravi goes back to selling high-quality mangoes at affordable rates. You have restored my business. Whenever you need me, I will always be there to help you. Moral of the story is that greed is bad.